I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I want to talk about subsidy removal and the protest stroke, the protesters. Now, when there was subsidy on petroleum products, it was a mess. It was an avenue for massive fraud and theft. People stole our crude, exported them. Some of them had big ships overseas, mobile modular refineries in the high seas, in international waters. They will load our crude into these vessels, mobile refineries, and refine and transload into one of their vessels bring the petroleum products to Nigeria and they will sell to us and then government will pay them for stolen crude. All kinds of rubbish were going on. People will just invoice things that they didn't import. And so uh, it was necessary to remove the subsidy. But the problem is the manner and the timing of the removal. President Tinubu was just take, making his uh, inaugural address and subsidy is gone forever. You don't do things like that. You don't do things like that. Because he is surrounded by psychophants, surrounded by parasites, surrounded by members of the Lagos mob, they could not advise him adequately. And he might not take because they are all, all his parasites and stooges. What would, what should have been done differently? Number one, Dangote refinery was coming up, even though it was hyped and hastily commissioned by Buhari. Several things went wrong. So, should have waited consulted, known when the modular refinery, I mean the refinery by um, Dangote will come on stream, we would have made sure at least one of our refineries was working, if not all of them. And then we'll have started phasing off the removal of subsidy. Subsidy is not an evil. In Europe, the average cow gets $2.5 a day for subsidy. That's $10 in four days. That's about $70 to $80 a month. The cows are subsidized so that there will be milk, so that the children can have strong muscles, their intellect will be developed. They can play football, sports, and whatever well, bring pride to the nation. If you look at the medal table in the current Olympics, it is related to economic and technological development. Only Kenya, maybe, will, and one other country will come with natural talent based on their geographical location and the heights where they train. It's technologically related, nutritionally related. So... They subsidize their cows so that the children can get milk, so that they can be intelligent. Their brain, Koshoko and Marasmus, depletes the brain. And uh, the brain does not function well. So, we will have done a gradual removal of subsidy. We will have the money we are spending to buy palliatives, money we are spending to convert cars to gas, the money we are spending to quell this protest. The money we are spending given to states that will never reach the people. It's enough to reactivate our refineries. And then we won't need to import petroleum products. And then our dollar will not need to, our naira will not need to fall drastically. All these people just listen to IMF. Just listen to World Bank people. A lot of this World Bank officers don't have any factory they don't do any business they don't love africa you just swallow everything hook line and sinker 
will have done a gradual removal of the subsidy without necessarily announcing it, like the way uh, um, uh, President Ahmed Tinibu did. The other alternative is the article alternative. NNPC, they end billions of naira in salaries without producing any refined product. They are a mess, a leech on our economy. And when Atiku said they will sell the refineries, people protested. I understand their grievances. They will have sold them to themselves and to their cronies. But if you sell the refineries and we have some shares, maybe 30% or 25% in those refineries and the products, crude oil is sold to them in dollars. They sell refined product to us in dollars. I mean, um, crude oil is sold to them in Naira. They, they sell refined product to us in Naira at a very low rate. And then we export to other countries and get in, in foreign currency. We will have had a win-win situation. The reason why our petroleum products are smuggled, apart from the connivance with those who are supposed to protect the borders and the relationship between these people in some of these uh, borders, is that we do not have official channels of exporting petroleum products to them in their countries that make our products very easily available and at prices that are competitive. They won't need to smuggle our products. So that's where I disagree with uh, some protesters about subsidy, the restoration of um, the withdrawn subsidy. It's not the subsidy per se, it's the manner with which it was removed and the lack of productive capacity in this country. The problem we have in this country today is that we have people who are not using their brains to govern. People who are governing because of their pockets, governing because of their tribes, governing because of their religion, governing because of loyalty to uh, our enemies overseas. They, some of them are stooges placed over us to incapacitate Africa. That's why what's happening in Mauri um, Burkina Faso, um, Niger, and Mali is quite exciting. France, very evil people towards Niger, uh, Africa, are being chased out. And we still have some crazy ball heads here who are enemies of their own nations. That's my take. You can air your opinion. Is part of the democratic rights. I'm Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.